WWE has transcended beyond pro wrestling. Yes. Right? Yes. The the word sports entertainment was just a word until mm -hmm. now. This was extremely evident from 100%. the last mega show like this that I was at, like a WWE major stadium show, mm -hmm. was probably 2017 SummerSlam. Okay. Like in in a big like SummerSlam level, Big Four, Big Five pay per view, right? That was at Barclays, right? At Barclays, yeah. That felt like a really cool pro wrestling show. Uh, yes, right. That was a cool pro wrestling weekend. Too. It was it was a great pro wrestling weekend. Yeah. This was not a pro wrestling event. No, this was guys. I and 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 I I I feel like I've seen it. Like I've mm -hmm. now awakened to this thing, and I could separate. Like, in my mind, I'm able to separate, like, oh, this is why WWE does this, and this is why AEW does this. Absolutely. WWE's not putting on a pro wrestling show. No. Okay? That day's a, that, that, that's gone. You could tell by, by their entire direction of the company. Oh, yeah. That this is not a professional wrestling company. This is a sports entertainment company. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you walk into that building, and you see there's 50,000 people there, and there's a DJ. Yeah. And there's a musical performance, and there's celebrity guests mm -hmm. and they're doing these moments interactive moments in between things this is broadway it's a circus this it's is broadway, the circus yeah. this is a variety show i've been saying this for <clears throat> weeks but it is so evident that these guys are beyond pro wrestling at this point and this is an entertainment product a hundred percent and you know it's funny too because the show just the production value that goes into it seeing it live is so seamless you know there was like close to no hiccups happening um, and I gotta say, like a very one of my takeaways from it was, I can see why the company loves the Miz so much. Oh yeah, because he, he's yeah. exactly what you've said about yeah. him all these years. He's a carnival barker. He's big live. He's very big and animated, which I think you know. It he's he's playing to the nosebleed, you know. <clears throat> um, and it was it was very surreal just seeing that. And you know what? You're right. It's not a pro wrestling show. It is not, it, I did not feel like I was at a professional wrestling show. Listen, I've been a wrestling fan. My first live event was probably mm -hmm. 1991 at the Garden, okay? You don't get more pro wrestling than being at the Garden. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen the change. At 37 years old now, I, I now can recognize the difference where, listen, if, if WWE does not do it for you anymore, mm -hmm. it's not because they're not doing... They're, just, they're not doing the wrestling that you want to see. They're not doing wrestling anymore. Right. They have now transcended into everything that Vince McMahon has wanted for 30 some odd years. 100%. And that's to become something in the middle. Um, and also, you know, it's also fascinating about this. Again, just doing the, the experience at Allegiant Stadium. Yeah. I think we both agreed that, like, listen, they don't need anybody. They don't need a John Cena. They don't need a Roman Reigns. They can create cool moments, but it's almost like an explanation of these major firings that have happened. Where it's like the company doesn't need anybody. Yeah. It will continue to be a circus and it will continue to sell out arenas. Do you want a prediction? You know? Shoot. I'm gonna give you a prediction. This has nothing to do with anything that anybody's ever said to me. This is all in my mind, okay? Uh -huh. I expect WWE to do a residency in Vegas within the next ten years, five to ten years, to have a residency in one of the hotels, like an MGM, where uh -huh. every, you know, night or whatever they do, they're putting on a wrestling show and every couple days somebody somebody different's there. I, I agree. They'll with have that. a different headliner, yeah. like Sheamus will headline one week. And, you know, maybe you'll have a Roman Reigns that'll headline the first week or John Cena. Yeah. This is and you know what? They'll probably sell twenty thousand people a freaking show. Oh, a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh the this company has evolved. And it is evolving into something very different than what we talk about when we talk about professional wrestling. Right, right. And it was very evident mm -hmm. at that show. Yeah. It was extremely evident. And it's not a knock, right? I'm not knocking no, no, no. it because they put on a tremendous... Listen, I, I watched it on pay-per-view after the fact. So my reaction is a little different because I got mm -hmm. to experience it in the building. So I don't know how you guys felt watching it live. Yeah. But I do have to tell you... Being in that building, people were loving it. Yeah. Everything. They yeah. were loving everything. Lovely, lively crowd, friendly crowd too, you know. Um, it was it was all the kids dressed like John Cena, I always find very adorable. It, 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 yeah. it, it was awesome. No, man, listen, it was great. It was great. And 
if you're looking for wrestling, you know, your your version of wrestling, yeah. you, you're not going to get it a lot at WWE anymore. Thanks for checking out this clip. For more, be sure to like and subscribe in addition to this channel. The Matman Podcast is available wherever you get your podcasts, and it's also available on F4WOnline.com as part of the Wrestling Observer Network.